Welcome friends, welcome back to Cocktails After Dark, where I'm exploring the world of cocktails and putting uh, base spirits head to head in the same cocktail to try and discover what I like and what I don't like. Hopefully this is helping you out at home as well. So today we're going to do something called the Mississippi Mule. Um, it's from 1922. And I have no clue why it's called the Mississippi Mule. Um, I've picked this because I wanted to try a cocktail that uses creme de cassis. Now, I love black currants. Uh, Julie and I grow them in the garden. We make jam with them. Um, absolutely love that flavor, that big, giant, juicy flavor. It's To me, it's absolutely incredible. But I've never had this liqueur before. So this will be a first for me. Oh, it's thick. It's very thick. Big jammy black currant. If you've ever had black currant jam, you would probably recognize the smell right away. Hmm. Strong. Very concentrated black currant flavor. Um, quite interesting. Now, there's a lot of cocktails. I like that. I could drink that on ice, just on its own. Very nice after supper. So, I'm going to do this two ways one with the Dylan's gin. And I really like this one. And a lot of people have complained in the comments that um, I've been using gin that they can't normally get where they live. Could I use a big international gin? So um, out comes the beef eater. Should be available anywhere on the planet. We're going to go head to head. We're going to see which one works best for me. So start out, I need a, uh, an ounce and a third of gin. third of an ounce of the cassis, and a third of an ounce of lemon juice. Ice the tin and shake. Okay, go to the ice from the glass. And we are going to double strain this. Okay, cocktail number two, exactly the same as the first one, uh, except this time with beef eater. Let me know in the comments down below um, what your favorite gin is. I still haven't found one that I would say beats all. I like different gins for different reasons, um, but that Dylan's is one that I do really like. Next in again, creme de cassis. Let me know what you think about this stuff too, if, uh, if you drink it often or use it in cocktails. And freshly squozen lemon juice. Ice the tin and shake. Okay, dump the ice, and again, double strain. Oh look, Jules is home. I don't, Co often, I don't often get to appear in the cocktail videos. This is fun. Okay, okay <laughs> so what we have here are two um, Mississippi mules. And it's not in a mug, it's not in a coffer. No, and I have no clue why it's called a Mississippi mule. Mules because mules are usually, you know, I, I associate I, a, 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 mules. Moscow, a Moscow yeah. mule with vodka and a whole different range. No, this is creme de cassis. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. It's very thick and very lovely. It's like liquid blackcurrant jam. Yes. Yes. It, uh, blackcurrants are very tasty. Yes. So, so you needed to add more to this. Well, maybe. <laughs> you're Let's... Saying, what you're saying is, okay, let me set that down. Two different gins, two completely different flavor profiles on the gins, but exactly the same cocktail. Go. <laughs> Which one do you like? Huh. I like how I committed to drinking right away. That one has a very strong gin fla smell and flavor to it. Ooh. Conveniently, I do like gin. Okay, so I have some notes on this one, but I'm not going to say what they are just yet. Let's taste this. Let's taste this let me, one. Let me write those down. Glenn's got notes. Oh, he's got notes. Got lots to say on lots of stuff. 
<laughs> oh, okay, so. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Completely different flavors. Completely different. This one ends up with a lemony flavor almost. I thought grapefruit. Okay. I got, so citrus. Yeah. So a citrusy flavor, which I was surprised at. I wonder if that is. Well, there's being... there's lemon there's lemon in this. So this is okay. gin, cassis, and lemon juice. Okay, that's the part I didn't know. Yeah. But that's really noticeable in this one. This one is not. This one is not. This one this one I get all of the botanicals and and all of the gin botanicals come through, whereas in this one they're completely masked and they're gone, which could be the gin. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is also a spicy gin because it is not a spicy gin. I shouldn't say spicy gin. That makes it sound like it's a spiced rum. Or yeah, no, it's it's made with rye as the base spirit. Yes. Which makes it taste spicy or or fuller, whereas this is just... It, it's a well-known, well-established gin. Essentially vodka. They're starting with a neutral flavor. Yeah, I... They're both. They're different. They're very different. Yeah. I don't know that I have a preference. I, you know, this one has a very like this one is clearly gin. You have to be a gin. If you don't like gin, this is probably not for you. If you don't like gin, get this one. I get a, I get grapefruit, but definitely a citrus flavor. Definitely citrus. But on the nose, I still get the cassis. Mm -hmm. I don't get the cassis in the flavor profile. Whereas this one is distinctly gin. As it, as it, as the smell, as the smell, and it just blends in with all the other flavors. Yeah. I find like the the lemon and the cassis, is mm -hmm. that what the cassis, and the gin all have like equal it's all voices the, yeah. in there. <laughs> so this this yeah. So I would say, and I think you agree, the cocktail made with the Dillon's gin is a well balanced cocktail where you get a little bit of all of the flavors. Yes. The beef eater is a cocktail where you get cassis on the nose and you get citrus on the on the palate. Yes. I agree. But the gin is gone. It's a complete it, it has they're become They're completely different. Like they're not even yeah. They're not even the same. It's amazing yeah. how how different they are. So try them both. <laughs> try them. Which, which one would you which one would you pick? I would probably pick this one, but I happen to really like gin yeah, I as would, a flavor. I would choose this one too. Right, Definitely so. choose this one too. So, and I know that people are going to be screaming in the comments. It's because this is beef eater gin. And no, I'm not a big citrus fan. So for me, yeah, this works better um, for me. So, once again, <laughs> there's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong. It comes down to what you have to please yourself. And if you like this one, then this is the great cocktail for you. Um, and if you like this one, which is mm. a great cocktail for us. Um, I guess we're fighting over who gets to finish that one after the camera's <laughs> turned off. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.